hello I Dylan YouTube family members that is right um, we are going ahead and building this house today that is right um, once again I am Dylan and we're gonna be building this like uh, like a Arizona style house and we're going to be doing everything, the details on the shadows, everything. I'll show you guys how to render it nicely. But this is, I kind of, I mainly do these videos for game um, stuff. So it'll look really, 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 really good. And we'll do the barrels and all that stuff, okay? Um, it might be like a two-part series because this is like a lot of detail. But anyways, we'll at least try to get the building done today, okay? Anyways, um, so what we're going to do is, the color is interesting, but it's fine. We'll... Um, We'll, we'll get over that. We'll add the sun and everything. You know what we're going to do? Instead of rendering it, I'll make it look really good for a game. And I'll add the shadows and everything. You'll see how good that'll look. All right. Um, let's do, let's start it off. So what we're going to do is start with a standard normal screen. Switch this to Blender game. And I mean, occlusion, if it's on, it's fine. It doesn't do anything. It just gives you a little bit more style. Put GLSL on. And we'll keep it in solid for right now. And we'll do Shift A. We'll add a cube like that. Just a standard normal little cube smooth makes it kind of weird flat it's fine so keep it tab so we'll do tab we'll do the inside there we'll select the back face drag that out if you look at the house it has this big box form to it so we'll we'll do this we'll do a big very big box style now let's see here do i have this on so you can see through it nothing yeah okay so leave that off so we'll do this we'll, we'll bring it out a little bit more we go one five and we look through this it's more forward than it is wide so you kind of want to actually that's wide so we'll bring it forward more like that there we go that looks nice so now what we're gonna do is let's take one more look we're gonna extrude the right side so we'll have to loop cut and slide right around here I'm trying to make this video quick so you guys can follow along uh, let's let's select that and then we'll bring it more this way Take this and this we're gonna go ahead and bring this one extrude this up This one can be extruded up as well, but there's like a staircase involved. So we'll bring it up like that much and This one's a very tall one. So we're gonna bring this way up like that So we got that Got a basic shape of the house. Um, we want to bring this up a little bit more as well Okay, good. So then we'll loop, cut, and slide it over here. We'll bring it to there. Loop, cut, and slide here. We'll bring that back there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to select this, this, and this, and bring this up. Like it's like a little thing. Like you see this little curve around the place? So bring that up a little bit more. That looks really nice. And then at the top of the building, we'll do another one. So we'll do a loop, cut, and slide here to there. Loop, cut, and slide here here to there and then another loop cut and slide here to there okay so we got this 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 that 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 extrude not too much just just a basic style loop cut and slide here and here this this x faces that x faces Go to this edge loop, take these edges here and this edge there, press F to fill. This one and this one, press F to fill. This one, this one, press F to fill. So now we have a basic style house, right? And now we're going to go ahead and uh, it's all about the detail. If you look closely, if you erased all of these, it would just be a box, right? So it's all about the details. So if, I, if you look really closely, you can see at the bottom here, we select like the whole loop cut here and bring this down. We can actually take, let's let's actually just make the whole house the, the simple color it is right now. So we'll do this, do new, turn. I always turn specular and I never have specular. Let me just move that out of the way. Um, I do this. It's a little bit more of like a reddish sandy house. So if we look like that, see, it looks like this. Wow, that looks really good, like sexy. It's a little redder in this picture, but um, if we want, we can make it a little redder like that. Yeah, that looks just like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do tab. We'll select our front here, all these, like that. Uh, let's say Z, and then press C. Select all of these, because it'll get all the faces that are at the bottom here. And we're going to make these a little more redder. So we'll turn specular down. We'll turn this more to a harder red. 
and then we'll do a sign. And if we tab, so you can see the red, it's more redder there. So now what we're going to do is we'll select this, select press C, we'll select this, we'll take these out, we'll press E to extrude forward. You just want a little bit of a bump, that's all we want, just a little bump. Not too much, just a little bit. And then an extrude like that. Just a little nudge, just to give it that little detail. We'll focus on the back a little after, but this is all we need to worry about right now. And then there was a door here, so let's look closely. It's got a just it's just a box with a door on it, so that's fine. So we'll do sh here because since it's not going to be an openable door, because you know I'm not, I don't really care about the going inside the buildings for right now. So we'll do scale on the Y. We don't want it to be too like that, so we'll keep it like that. Scale on the Z. Bring that down. Select that. Bring it out. I want to make this a little taller because we're gonna have to make an inside frame. So press I to invert and see how it makes this little frame on the inside? There we go. We're actually going to take that frame and push it uh, or extrude it in. It almost adds this little doorway look to it. Now from here we are going to loop cut and slide this door. Uh, actually what we're going to do is we're going to subdivide the door. That's, that's pretty good. It's a good amount of times. Now if you're trying to make a big game I would su suggest that you just loop cut it because too many faces. Look at the face count already. We already have 200 and let's see we have 453 faces already, and that's that's a lot. And this right here probably is 100 faces just here. So we need to keep faces down as much as we can to make a big, 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 big game. So um, we're going to take little strands. So we'll select little, little strands of the door like that. I'm sure there's a better way to select simple areas. I think there was one, uh, I can't remember what the button was, but there was one. Now you don't want to go ahead and select all of the, every line. You want to kind of do a space of two lines because it will make the whole door look like if it's like a crunched up piece of paper. We don't, we don't want that. So we'll select this. All right, that looks good. That looks really, really good. I'm actually, I'm actually really enjoying this, making this. So let's do that. Let's do this. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to simply grab the Y and do this. See how it almost like turned into a shade? It's really weird huh, how that happened. But we don't want to make it too much. Just enough that you can notice it, right? So look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Now we're going to make this brown a sign. We want to make the darkness a little bit lower, especially for brown colors for right now. What did I just do that for? We want to make the, the thing a little bit darker from just from the get-go before we start making our colors so we can get a little better idea. It's a little it's like a reddish brown. We don't want that. We want a little bit more... Like that. See that? That's a nice color. Now we're just going to select the whole door now. Like this, like this. Like that. We're actually, you know what we're going to do is we're going to select our thing, Shift G, Material, and we're actually going to make this a blacker dark brown. The reason why is so we can see the actual cre crevices in the thing. So we'll select the rest of the door. You'll see what will happen. Give me a second. Select the rest of the door, like this, that, like that. Okay, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do new assign, and we're gonna make. Ooh, what did I just do? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. We'll do. Yeah, we can do new assign. It's fine. You'll see what'll happen. Make it break a darker brown. We'll take. See the. See this little white spot there. When the game is playing, it'll bounce light off of it, and it kind of makes it look a little cheaper. Not really a fan of that look. So, see, that's a nice brown, right? It's a nice door. It's not bad. But let's select... Uh, uh, what was that? Damn it, what did I just do? Okay, I completely forgot about something here. It's, you know what, you know, this door's fine. It's fine. I was going to say we put, like, the little black lines there, but maybe it'll look a little funky. But look at this. You can see the lines in the door, right? Doesn't that look awesome already? This This building I'm already in love with. Um, we won't add these little spots yet. We'll go ahead and add some more detail first. Uh, let's add the staircase. That's that's something very important to this building. So we're going to select this whole area here, this whole region. Let me think here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Uh, we might want to loop, cut, and slide here. And then... Okay, here's what we're going to do. All right, I got, I got an idea. Um... Man, how do I want to do this? Let's okay. Let's select all of this. 
Okay, we want to select these sides as well. And we'll do X. And we'll do faces. Now, this kind of just deleted everything. You see this right here? This this thing going on? There's something. What's going on is there's a face inside a face. I think. And when the game is playing, you'll see that. But it's on the inside of the building, so you have to worry about that. Okay, so now we have a problem, right? We have the whole half of the building is gone. Now, this is uh, this is actually helpful having these lines here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. I'm going to select the bottom faces and then select the top ones. Press F to fill. So now we have a spot for this thing to work with. F to fill, F to fill, F to fill. Okay, now we're going to do loop, cut, and slides here to make the staircase. So we'll do one here. We'll do one here. Here. That's good. That's a good amount right there. This one's a little bit funky. It's it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, I noticed that yeah, that's that's right. So this is good. This is fine. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first staircase, extrude. You don't wanna extrude it too much, just until it gets to right right over here. Then we're gonna take the next staircase, extrude. Right. Take the next one. Extrude. Take the next one, extrude. Take the next one, extrude. The next one, extrude. The next one, extrude. The next one, extrude. This one. That one. This one. There we go. Look at that. That is a staircase for you right there. Look how nice that looks. This is a problem, though. Look at this. When you press P, if you're in textured view, let's just add just a simple light. Emmy. <sighs> wow, it looks pretty good. Press P. It, there, okay, you'll there's gonna you'll be able to see that this this face is messed up when you're playing the actual game. You will be able to see that. How do we fix this? Um, oh, look at this. Okay. So this there's a face inside a face. Look at that. So when you select if I deselected this and selected that, see how this face this it gets grayed out? So there's a face in a face, which is not good. So we're going to actually do X faces, X faces. Look at that. See how that happened right there? Now the other way you can do that um, is you have to go ahead and do, what was it? Remove duplicates? Where was that at? You press the space bar and you do remove. Uh, d uh, remove, I think it was a, remove doubles, I think it was what it was. Let's see, faces. No, it's remove doubles. That was what it was. And you would remove a face in a face, I think. I think that's what it was. I never use it, but, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. I'm actually thinking, should I make this a little step right here? Eh, why not? Always save our files after every important thing. Now, this house is already looking 